Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Frank Trigg. So tell us you're doing some commentating now. You're also a former wrestler. What's the latest thing that you have going on right now? Man, it's killing me. I was hoping we could make the full announcement. Uh, as I was walking the red carpet today, I actually got off the phone with my manager slash attorney slash entertainment guy. And uh, we have a huge announcement coming. It's can't say anything about it right now. We're waiting on the final paper to come out. But uh, uh, it'll be on a major network. And I'll be back. Not commentating but working again on camera which is what I wanted to do so it kind of puts me together but a lot of stuff I've been doing right now I've been doing a lot of interviewing um, for with the four different organizations for fighters for different websites I'm um, keeping myself relevant out there and, and I've been doing a lot of training which is weird Campman and Haran and I'm trying to help uh, help Chael Sung get ready for uh, John Jones to let me and and basically being going back to being a white belt and getting beat up for four or five rounds every day but I act like the opponent that they're getting ready to fight against so I can help them prepare and for me it's a lot more fun like I like going out there and training like that and doing that kind of thing it's it's weird because I'm training harder now than I was actually in training camp because I have to get I have to do like two three different sets every day with different guys plus my own stuff so you're working a lot over at Extreme Couture yes doing everything I do is still Extreme Couture I've been Randy and I have been friends since 1990 and he, I'm, he, I'm like a rash he's been trying to get rid of me he keeps moving around the country doing different things he's, I just won't let him go he won't let me go so. have you been working at all with cornering Jay for his upcoming fight with Tyron Woodley I am yeah Jay and I have been doing a lot of work together trying to get ready for Tyron and, and Tyron's actually a friend of mine too so it's t this fight's a tough one for me and, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna actually corner Jay in this one as much as just be there uh, every day in practice and be his body that he's using to, to get him ready for Tyron because I just don't think that's uh, respectful for me being the corner cross from a friend of mine in MMA and in wrestling it would happen all the time we had no problem with it but in MMA I try to stay away from that game Absolutely. also you said you were working a little bit with trying to get Chael he's actually right behind you is there yeah. anything that you would want to tell Chael as far as uh, needing to work with him as the upcoming fight with John Jones comes up no the biggest thing with, with Chael is that when he puts himself together through a great camp he's a great fighter we thought the first time he fought Anderson Silva the second camp didn't go very well and he didn't show very well in the fight all of a sudden get tries to throw a spinning back fist that's not Chael's style it makes no sense he knows that I'm not gonna tell him anything he doesn't already know himself and he's got a shot legitimate shot yes it's a long shot it's you know it's a, it's a deep underdog but yeah he's got the shot to go ahead and make this happen if he puts together the right training camp and focuses only on being a fighter all right well thank you frank we appreciate your time and enjoy the awards tonight thank you very much thank I you appreciate it.